What's going on everybody? Chrome on Rust here. So I'm going to hit you with about 14, 15, somewhere in there, different shrine locations. I didn't actually go through and count them. But if you don't know, the gloves worship. Yes, they're a bug. They're making our fleeting and empowered shrines last an hour long. That's what my last video is about, so I'm not going to go into too much of that. But let's say the bug was gone. Now empowered shrines, fleeting shrines, and all others are only lasting 10 minutes long. Are the gloves worship still worth it? Yes, you can hot swap with the Gloves of Worship, meaning you throw the gloves on, click on a shrine, throw your normal gloves back on, and you're going to have your shrine for that 10 minute duration. Also, if you're going around and you and your buddies are doing like Torment 4, Torment 5 on Ubers, you run around, find a few shrines, you all have the Gloves of Worship, you got those shrines for 10 minutes, well now maybe you're going to be able to actually take on Torment 6 just because you have those additional buffs. But let's go ahead and jump right in here. We got a few in Act 5. There's actually two in Act 5. I go to the Ruins of Corvus. These aren't guaranteed spawns. There's a couple that are going to be guaranteed. I just kind of give it a little run forward, see if there's anything up in here. Sometimes you'll see a Healing Well or Pool of Reflection or something like that. And then I go to the Passage of Corvus. And these are the only two places in Act 5 that I go. See right there is nice and close. Sometimes you'll have to run a little bit further. Then we go to the Gardens of Hope, Tier 1. There is a guaranteed shrine here, and you'll actually end up normally finding about two. So we run up, just keep running. This is the guaranteed one right there. So, so far we got no Empowered Shrine and Fleeting Shrines, which are really, sometimes as well, there will be one right there in that circle. Then we run over to Rakanoth. And also, this particular Gardens of Hope, Tier 1, will also have like a Cursed Shrine event. So you can kind of get one there as well. Then we just run over here, and there will be one right where the healing well is sometimes. Or also, there could be one right here where this circle is. Going to go to the Gardens of Hope Tier 2. Now, the Gardens of Hope Tier 2 could actually have a couple different layouts. There's like two different ones. Sometimes there's the one where you got to run up the ramp. But there's another one where you actually have to run off to the right side. And if you run down, there will be a shrine sometimes, but we didn't get that one. So on this one, we actually just run out. There will be a shrine here sometimes, right in here, or they'll place it right down in there. I normally just go ahead and run through here because then there's one more shrine. So there's like about three shrines in this location that you're going to be able to get. So you see there, we still got our one hour duration on our empowered shrine. So happy to pick that up. And then we jump over to Act 3. I just kind of go from Act 5 to Act 3 for whatever reason. It's just the way that I've done it. And this shrine will be right where this pool of reflection is. And that's another good thing about this. If you're kind of running around looking for shrines, you'll end up finding a few pools of reflection here and there. So this is actually a new waypoint for Adventure Mode. This is the battlefields. You run up here. Look at that. Another shrine already. So we're already up about four or five shrines. I don't think... Probably four. I don't think we got any repeats yet. And then we teleport to. That is all I got for you for Act 3. There's the Stinging Winds. Now this one's pretty good because you can actually run across about like three shrines. And there's one guaranteed. Or it's a guaranteed location, but sometimes it'll be a pool. So, you know, take it when you can get it. But yeah, running through the Stinging Winds, sometimes you will find one here. spin to win so we didn't find any in the stinging winds but you just keep running down to the black canyon mines shrines will be around here to the left sometimes and this is the guaranteed location right on top of the old waypoint and you can run around here as well sometimes you will find another one but it does not look like we're that lucky It looks like I already have my homing pads on. So I'm gonna just get out of there nice and fast. One more place in Act 2 that we're gonna go ahead and check out here. I'm sure this video is super exciting, but hopefully these locations help. Hollowing Plateau. Now this, normally in this bottom triangle, you'll find one. There we go. Another lightning shine, so that's like, that's at least five right there. So you can see you can find and stack up your shrines pretty well. So that's all for Act 2. I'm sure there's more, but... I go down to the Halls of Agni, level 2. I don't really run anywhere. Sometimes there will be one just right around there. Not very often, but since it's right next to the waypoint, I do go ahead and check it out. 
Now this is the northern or southern highlands, excuse me. Just a waypoint right here where this pool is. Sometimes will be a shrine. So you can see we got a couple pools, about five shrines already. This has turned out to be a pretty decent run. Then the last one that I got for you is the cemetery of the Forsaken. Right up in this corner, top left, there will be one. Sometimes you'll catch one down in here, or there will be one right where this pool of reflection is. So that is going to be it for me. That is all the shrines that I had for you. There, is, you can addition. You could run all these as well. I haven't been having too much luck with it in finding shrines. There used to be shrines there all the time, running inside of these, but it just doesn't seem like the case anymore. I haven't been finding them. Maybe I'll just go ahead and check them one last time just to confirm in this video. Probably not worth it because I really haven't been finding any inside of here. Yep, well that is going to be it for me. I'm Chrome on Rust for Quark Expert Gaming. Go ahead and get your gloves of worship so you can get those one hour bugged shrines. Maybe do some Ubers. Chrome on Rust for Quark Expert Gaming. I'm out of here and you all have a great day.